All right, I'm here standing behind the Tobacco River Dam and you can see what's happening right now. They're just about to start pulling some stop logs out. See the old Tobacco River path is now flowing. So let's head up to the top of the dam and watch this process for ourselves. See the water level is no longer flowing underneath the M30 bridge and it has dropped quite significantly. Switching over here to this side, it's downstream on the Tobacco River Dam. See just how well that water's flowing. And these guys down here are pulling a stop log right now. Jumping into the drone video now, I'm flying towards the southwest, towards the Tobacco River Dam. We can see just how opened up these holes are in the front face of the dam. This was in the morning before the stop logs were being pulled. See the excavator sitting here, just kind of waiting. And we can see over here on the left hand side, that is the spillway, uh, the bay as they call it, that they're going to be removing the stop logs from first. The middle bay is the smallest and the two on the outsides are a little bit larger. So the stop logs in that middle bay weigh 1,800 pounds and the stop logs for each of the bays on the outside weigh a total of 2,300 pounds each. So they are pretty heavy. You'll be able to get a look at them in the next clip. All right, here comes that first stop log out. Let's see if I can get a good video down in here. comes right at the top of the water now much right at the top of where the old spillways used to be. That log is now out of there. See the steel plates on each side of it. operator can go ahead take it out of here See a lot of that rubble in there as well now. This area is right in that hollow section on my old video. 
where I stood inside of that is now being hammered away. This guy up here near the top is going ahead trying to hook that stop lug down there. You can see he just hooked it. This one over here, it's hard to see, but this one over here as well is hooked. Now I can go ahead, pull out this next log. Pretty fast operation once they get going, pretty much. Hook the log, pull it up, fly it out, and grab the next one. So they're going ahead. Uh, they have one more stop log to pull in this bay today. They pulled three out of here today, and this is the only one that they're pulling from this spillway here. I'm not gonna go ahead and pull any from these ones over here. And then, excavator operator is gonna go ahead and start jackhammering away, lowering these a little bit further. See over here, under the M30 bridge, there is no longer any water flowing underneath that. Here's upstream to the north of the Tobacco River. Now I am towards the uh, east side, um, this kind of the rapid area between uh, the Tobacco River and Titabawasi River. This area kind of connected Wixom Lake. Um, this is flying towards the M30 bridge, and again, I was just kind of filming this for documentation purposes to see how much water was flowing in this direction, as well as the water depth. So after that Tobacco River spillway is lowered, it uh, will be interesting to see how much water is still going through here. And we can see the M30 bridge near the top of the frame, as well as the Tobacco River dam. So again, this was on February 24th. And we can see there's quite a bit of water flowing underneath that M30 bridge yet. This was before the Tobacco River Spillway was lowered. They were just starting to lower it at this time. And I'm going to jump into the video on the next clip, which actually shows how much water is flowing through the same exact area, uh, just less than two weeks away from one another. And we can see how big of an effect there is. So now this is from March 5th of 2021. You can see the area here. Uh, between the Tobacco River and the Titabawasi River has been almost completely drained of water uh, since that Tobacco River ha spillway has been lowered enough for the water to start flowing back over that. This tandem semi up here in the top left of the screen as well 
is dumping some riprap that was put in place to build the bridge at the end of Donaldson Drive for some erosion control projects. So right now they're kind of removing that bridge and dumping that riprap in this location as well. Again, I'm flying towards the west right now. Currently, that is the M30 Causeway Bridge in the center of the screen. And right there near the top left is the Tobacco River Spillway, which is currently being lowered. On this day, it had been lowered about 10 feet already. So only three more feet until they're at the top of the new kind of stair step spillways that were just recently poured in the last couple months. Getting a little bit closer now, we can see the amount of water flowing through the Tobacco River Dam and going downriver. All the ice that was in this area has now been melted. Now go ahead, swing the drone around, and we'll take a look at the back side of the dam. can get a good look of the amount of water traveling through the dam and over the top of the weir on the bottom of the screen. You may also notice some of those uh, rebar sticking out on each side of that weir. That is for the new training walls that will be poured when this uh, dam is brought up to current today's standards, when it is rebuilt back up and Wixom Lake is allowed to refill again. I'll keep dropping a little bit more in altitude, but over on the right hand side, there's a little bit of erosion happening there. That will all be patched up, as well as the erosion kind of grading on the side of the embankment on the left-hand side in the next few weeks as well. The orange paint over on the right-hand side of the screen is just marking the water level in the river downstream of the dam. Sorry if I'm a little shaky today because it is uh, about 20 degrees out here right now. And that water is just, or the wind is just ripping up the Tobacco River right now. This is some footage that was provided to me by Fisher Contracting. This was the previous day when they were pulling stop logs on the center spillway. Looks like they got hung up on a, a little bit of the ice up there on the top of the screen, but they were able to get this one free. You can see this is a, a little bit closer vantage point than when I was filming the stop logs being pulled on the far spillway, that far bay, uh, the morning that I was there. And they were able to get this one free and go ahead finish flying it out. like they're still working on some bridge approach work over here on M30. See how thick that ice was and the level that it was at up here before the water level was lowered was close to a foot thick, maybe eight inches. And now the trees are starting to emerge through the ice. I 
I included these clips in the last video as well, but I just wanted to put this in here to show people again the differences between the Titabwasi and Tobacco River path. Uh, this area used to have the rapids located in it. You can see up on the top side of the screen how this looked back in September and now how it currently looks today. Now that that last stop log is out, see how much of that rubble is exposed. Now all that needs to be removed. So now while well, they got the excavator already here and in this position, they're gonna go ahead, switch things out and put on the bucket and scoop some of that rubble out of here. It is a little bit slower process removing all this rubble, he said. And also I've been referring to this as a jackhammer. It is not a jackhammer, so I'll have to correct myself on the voiceovers that I did earlier in the day. That is called a breaker, not a jackhammer. You may notice these uh, concrete areas here and one over here. That used to be an old access point that you were able to get down inside of the dams to be able to check things out. And to access that, there's a manhole cover up here near this side of the dam that you'd go down through and be able to get to the interior of the dam. And you could walk across into the various spillways. In this drone clip, I'm gonna kinda of go along the whole entire Tobacco River path, again showing the differences um, from two weeks ago when I was here and the Tobacco River spillway was first being lowered. Then we're gonna hit the confluence area of the Tobacco and Titabwasi River, head back up the Titabwasi River side through to the Edenville Dam, and then come back over the area between the Titabwasi and Tobacco River. So now we're going to start heading south down the Tobacco River and if you want you can go back to my last video uh, from a week ago showing when the spillways were first being lowered. You would just see a lot of ice in this area because this river was not flowing at that time. All the water was flowing over underneath the M30 bridge and then going through where the Edenville embankment failed around the Edenville Dam. Now we can see the river is actually flowing pretty good in this area. There's a few spots that look to be pretty shallow. This river was never very deep though. This was the area of when I filmed last week that the eagle flew right underneath my drone and landed in one of these trees. If you want to see that, make sure you go back and check out my video from last week. Up near the top left of the screen, you can start to see the confluence area though. Uh, that's the Titabwasi River on the left hand side of the screen. You can actually see the area right here on the point in the middle of the screen where all those trees had been leveled when the Edenville embankment failed and that rushing water came flowing right through here and then continued on going straight across this field and taking out Curtis Road Bridge, the approach on the top right hand side of the screen. I'm going to start panning to the left now and we're going to start heading back up the Titabwasi River. There are still quite a bit of ducks, swans, and geese in this area. They used to frequent the area between the Tobacco and Titabwasi River when the water was flowing underneath the M30 bridge. Since there's no longer really any water in that area, they're in this area that is kind of in the downstream of the Edenville Dam. This is the southern M30 bridge that I'm flying over right now, and I am flying towards the north. Jim Sperling's house is right here on the right hand side. Many of you probably know him from the interviews did, that I did early on. Again, we're seeing a lot of trees on the left-hand side of the screen that had been leveled when the embankment failed. 
And as I tilt the camera up to the left, just entering the screen right there is where the sediment is blocking the old river path of the Titabwasi River. That is the area that if the water was currently flowing over the Edenville Dam, that it would exit. Uh, that sediment needs to be removed from there when they go to repair the Edenville Dam. That is the Edenville Dam right there behind the trees, kind of near the top left-hand side of the screen right now. Directly in the middle of the screen is the Edenville Fall area. The falls have reduced their water a little bit, but you can see they're still there. Um, probably helping this is the amount of snow melt that we've had this last couple weeks. Um, it's definitely getting pretty warm. This next week coming up, we're going to have some 60 degree days, so we can kiss all of our snow goodbye, and we're going to see these water levels raise a little bit further before they start to drop again. I'm sure there's quite a bit of fish still here beneath the falls. This is the area that I would like to install another pan tilt zoom live camera. So if you want to support those efforts, I do have a GoFundMe page and you can send me donations through my PayPal link directly if you want to see that camera set up. Again, that would be a 24 seven live camera feed that we'd be able to watch the backside of the Edenville Dam over here on the left hand side of the screen too when they go to repair this. This area now in the middle of the screen is where the Edenville embankment failed. And now panning to the left, we'll be able to see how much reduced flow of water we're seeing through here. This was where I took the video earlier on showing the comparison back from September over the rapids. This was the rapid area right near the middle left hand side of the screen and that would flow down. Used to be water all over in this area less than two weeks ago. Excavator operator is now going ahead, switching out the breaker for the bucket. Then they're going to be able to go ahead and remove some of this rubble down here in front of the spillway. Actually, it's behind the spillway on the interior of the dam. See how that water is flowing right down through here though. Water level is approximately 10 feet lower than when they started. It's about three more feet to go. Just able to remove the breaker, swap on the bucket. Now you can go ahead and remove some of this rubble. That water level just keeps dropping pretty fast now that they removed those couple of stop logs. From this location, let me see if I can see it. My live camera is right right there on that pole. That's corridors away, but that is the shot that we're getting right here on the Tobacco River Dam. We are just able to start to see some of these holes from way over there. I may have not made it clear in my last video, but there were some people thinking that this dam was being removed. This dam is not being removed. Uh, the spillway is just being lowered and that was to redirect the river path and river flow back over the spillway again down the Tobacco River instead of flowing over here underneath the M30 bridge that then goes over around to by the Edenville Dam where the embankment failure happened. So that flow is redirected over this dam now. When they go to rebuild this dam, they will bring these spillways back up to day, today's standards.
now that he's got a scoop of rubble, you can go ahead, put it in this uh, metal bin basket, and the crane operator will go ahead, fly it out of here, and dump it over on the other side of the dam. You can see how much sediment there is in front of the dam over here. All the sand over here on this side. As well as over here, right in front of that first spillway. Jumping back to the drone video now, we are to the south downriver of the Tobacco River Dam. Gaining a little bit of altitude. We're going to fly directly over the top of the dam. Get a bird's eye view of the rubble removal with the excavator. It's kind of interesting to see this dam directly from the top as well. So now we're directly over the catwalk. And that excavator operator is just going ahead. He was going to put a little bit of rubble in there, but I think uh, there was too much water in the bucket. So he brought it back to this side, dumped a little bit of that water out, and then proceeded to add the rubble back into the basket. Definitely pretty easy to see the amount of sediment over here on the right hand side of the screen, right in front of that first bay. I'm going to go ahead and rise a little bit further in altitude. I also notice there's a little bit of concrete patchwork on the front side of this training wall. You can see that new concrete there. In this view, we get a little bit wider angle on the construction area. And in this shot, I do just get a little bit closer up. And we can see the amount of water flowing over top of the weir. This is a little bit later on in the day. You can see how low that sunset is getting and the shadows being cast over the top of the spillways. Here's a good shot behind the Tobacco River Dam. See that water flowing down through inside of those spillways. Making its way down the Tobacco River. Here comes a load of rubble right now. Crane operator is flying it out. I'm going to actually back up so I'm not in their way. I'm just going to go ahead, dump it in the pile of rubble out here. See the amount of rubble that they were able to remove 
from behind the spillway now. Just a couple hours ago, this was all full of that concrete rubble piled up right in front of the stop logs. Now that's all been cleared out of there. Now they can go ahead with the breaker. Start breaking a little bit more of this concrete out of the way to lower the spill way further. Sorry for this video being so long, but there were so many great shots that I got throughout this day that I just didn't want to leave out. So I'll put the timestamps on this video if you want to jump ahead or jump back and forth to seeing the stop logs being pulled or some of this breaker work happening. Again, not, not a jackhammer that he's using on this. This is a breaker. And uh, we'll jump in the next clip here and see a little bit more of this work from the opposite side so this is facing towards the south now and we're able to see all of these spillways all these bays being opened up i'm not going to provide much voice over here um, you can kind of just watch for yourself and watch the excavator operator do some braking
Here's a view near the top side of the dam. Excavators over there on that side sitting on the barge. Right over top of the spillways. So right now the water is flowing through the inside of the hollow spillways. Over the weir. And then heading downstream with the Tobacco River. It's flowing pretty good here today. It's amazing that just a couple weeks ago, I was standing right over here on this side filming. I actually stood right inside of this spillway, right where this water is coming through right now. You can probably hear the sheer force and power of the water coming over the front of this weir and over the dams right now. There's a rainbow just starting to form right here. I'm not sure how well the camera is going to pick it up. But right there in all that mist, just a little bit of a rainbow. These pins right here used to be what the gates used to rotate on. You can actually see a little bit of the old remnants from the gates right here. Some of the scouring from them moving up and down on the concrete. And right in here, it's a couple numbers as well. I was just standing here looking at the embankment and found this old Sprite bottle. Pretty neat. I wonder if that was originally here from when the dams were built, buried inside the sand. Let me know what you guys think. You think that bottle's about 100 years old? Or maybe it was left here from someone fishing on the dam in past recent years pretty neat sight to see right behind the old gates the tobacco river is now flowing again in the background right over here are the three gates Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. As always, I just want to give a massive thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of your contribution to keeping this channel going. Thank you.